and welcome to my video series. Today we are going to be learning about the Hutmul, as I said in the last video. If you have not seen the last video, you should watch it. It is the A Basics How To Video, the episode 1 of this season. So now you should watch that if you have not watched it. And now, if you have, then you can make continue. And here we go. So now we're going to be learning about the, uh, the Hutmul, the Hutmul language. It is very good. So first, before we begin, let's go ahead and bring up our uh, IDE, otherwise known as the Integrated Development Environment. So we're going to go and uh, bring that up. Alright, so now we have our Integrated Development Environment up. It's a notepad. So now we're going to begin the Hutmul. Now then, when you begin the Hutmul, you must make sure that you always begin it with the Hutmul. The Hutmul. And then you may use the the head. So you do Hutmul and then head, like this. And then you may put in the title, and you say uh, something. Like we can say, our Hutmul. And then we do this, and that closes the title. And we do this for everything. We close the head, and then we open up the body. And now with the body, we can put in the stuffs. So now we're going to make a simple Hello World application. So now we can put in some text. We put in Hello World. We close the body. Close the Hutmul. And now we have generated our very first Hello World application. So now we can begin to use it. All we do is we do Control S to save it. Does not seem to be working, so we'll go to File and uh, Save As. And then it comes up. Now we go back. And we're going to save it. Um, no, we need to make a. Uh, um, we need to go to the. Uh, uh, the, uh, the well, we can go back to the documents. We're going to make a new folder. We're going to call it. Uh, Tech Tricks for our Tech Tricks videos, and we're going to call it. Um, going to do all files, and then we change the name to uh, ep one dot hutmul, and then we save it, and now we have the uh, hutmul, and now. We have our completed Hutmul. Now what we do next is we have to open up a compiler. Now there's all kinds of different compilers. There's the Googles and the uh, Firefoxes and the Safaris. And of course there's the Internet Explorer. Now I use the Internet Explorer because it is best compiler. It is made by Microsoft, which we've already said is a great proprietary company. And uh, other products such as uh, the Google is made by uh, the illegal hacker groups, much like our other dangerous tools such as Linux and the Sublime Texts. So now we must make sure we use this. So we use the Internet Explorer. I'm using best version. This is a good version. So now we open it. And then it loads. Alright, it's working. This is a status page that tells us that the the compiler is in full mode. It is using the reader at DLL, which is a directory library that allows it to uh, give us the compiler information. And you can see that it's all working. So now, what we do is we go to our the documents where we had our, uh, our uh, source code. That is what you can call your code whenever you write it. You can call it source code. That's what the hackers call it. Go to go to the uh, the episode one. Put me source code, and then we drag it. We drag it into the compiler, and then you see the status down here. It's compiling it. It's opening it, compiling, and then oh. See, just like that. Now we have it. We have our title, 
and the body right here and you can see we have created a hello world application in our compiler so now it's worked properly and now we have a fully working uh, document that we can use in our applications you can also make all kinds of forms and you can make all kinds of things and you can make things and they'll be good and now you know how to use the hutmul so now let's do some more advanced things we can also make it bigger by putting it into the he one close the he one and then we do the file and the save then we can go back to our compiler and we can hit the refresh button which then recompiles the source code and see it now's big it's now very big so now there's all kinds of things you can see the, the source code compiled correctly and it works good so now we can also change the color so now we'll go back to our hutmul we can add a font and we can add a color we make it equal there. Uh, let's make it a nice green. A nice green. And we go back to the end and we close the font. And then we can go to the file. And then we can hit the save. We hit the refresh, recompile. And see, it's now green. Oh. Uh, um. Uh. Okay, so I was looking at the uh, code and I forgot to put in the carrot so we could close it. And that was why the colors was not working. So now we can go back to the save. And we can hit the re recompile button. And see, it's now green. See, it, everything works. It's green now. Everything's good. Everything's good. And now we can also put in an iframe. Which will allow us to put other compilations into our own. So we put in iframe. The href. And then we can put in web address this is a home page that a friend sent me we hit the saves and we hit the recompile button and as you can see it worked we have a box and now everything works. The compilation was successful. And now we can um, close the compiler. And we are finished. And now, that is how you use the Hutmul. We made a special... Um, a special... Uh, We made a special. We made a special thing, you know. We made we made an application that could print the hello world, and we made it. We learned about the compilers. You learned not to use anything but Internet Explorer once right? again because Microsoft is good, and you learned how to do everything. And now you know how to use the Hutmul. Now you can build your own applications, and you can be. Once you try hard enough, you could be as good as me one day. And now we're going to next time learn about another language. We're going to be learning about the. Sys. We're going to be learning about the Sys language and how to make the Hello World application and we're going to learn about its basics and that is how you do it and now here we go, I am done, you are all learned up and now I'll see you next time.